Hi, my name is Anton, and this is one video from a series about comparing edge platforms for computer vision. Uh, in a series of this video, I compare platforms not only in terms of performance, but uh, also in from the side of convenience and simplicity for development. One video, one platform. Uh, all videos are available on my channel and at the link in the description you can find a final table with different boards and the article about uh, choosing logic for comparison. Today I want to talk to you about the Intel Myriad X. Unlike the other boards uh, in this video series, uh, the Myriad X doesn't have a carrier board uh, from the uh, manufacturer, uh, but there are all sort of uh, options for external use. Flash drives, camera with embedded chips, uh, and uh, there are a good video about them in, on my channel, uh, by the way, uh, you can check it. Uh, M2 modules, uh, and of course, chip themselves. Uh, we used Myriad X in f a few time in production, but uh, more in prototypes. And uh, also I did one hobby project on it, so I know this board pretty good. Uh, the story will consist from three parts. Uh, in the first part I evaluate uh, Meradics on several important criteria for computer vision boards, uh, at least in my opinion. In the second part, I tell different ways to develop uh, on this chip. And in the third part, I will summarize and uh, talk about my experience. Let's go. How easy to flash? Uh, for the Myriad X, you don't need to flash anything. You need to install the drivers on your working platform. And uh, the process for most standard platforms, like Intel-based PC or Raspberry Pi, is well regulated. Uh, but the stranger the platform you use, the worse it will work. Um, OpenVINA require additional steps to install on uh, X64 uh, Raspberry Pi, for example, uh, and the official guides uh, for the third Raspberry Pi, for example. Uh, so two years ago, I would have given it five stars, but now it's only uh, 4.5 stars. How easy to work? It's very easy to work. Uh, the only downside is that uh, OpenVINA is constantly evolving. Uh, if you worked uh, it uh, two years ago, uh, you might get some surprises this time. For example, even some logic have changed from my last experience. Uh, I think it's uh, five stars. How convenient is the Linux system? Uh, since you don't flash the board, you can work with any standard Linux, so five stars. Uh, community support, huge. Uh, this is uh, primarily due to Myriad X uh, running on OpenVINA, one of the classic computer vision platforms. For example, there are Pinto Model Zoo, there are Debs AI uh, rep repositories, and uh, there are many ways to develop on OpenVINA and specifically on Myriad X. So community community support is huge, a lot of examples uh, are available. Let's move to the models. Official models though. Look at this beauty. Official models. Officially converted models. Uh, utilities to download and convert these models. Excellent. 
five stars. Unofficial model zoo. Many models support native conversion and everything uh, like ONNX inference, uh, Triton server, everything work with OpenVim. And of course, there are Pinto model zoo. Five stars. Easy to convert random model. You can convert almost anything. Five stars. I don't know system that works as good uh, as OpenVINA. Easy to debug problems with the conversion debug info. Everything is pretty clear. Uh, you have pretty documented errors and a huge community to track these errors. Five stars. Product readiness. Now let's talk about how good Myriad X for real products. Processor speed is not applicable because uh, Myriad X doesn't have its, its own classic processor. Mechanical part construction. Also not very applicable. There are so many different forms uh, of Myriad X uh, boards uh, and uh, you can fine tune one of these boards for uh, your real production or you can develop your own uh, platform and both of these options are not great because uh, uh, already made solution Probably sometimes it's pretty hard to integrate it into your system. For example, like one of this camera, uh, you need uh, some case for it, uh, or you need to develop something like this. Uh, and uh, it's hard to predict how easy it will be for some uh, a special case. And uh, the second way when you develop in your own platform from the scratch is pretty consumption uh, way. And uh, I think it's not a great idea to develop something on Miradix. But I think uh, I can give four stars because uh, you always can uh, make your product working. Easy to buy. Simple as possible, five stars. Pins for external connector. Uh, also no applicable because you don't have a board uh, and you can choose uh, a board with external pins like Raspberry Pi, um, so not applicable. Speed test. Here is the fun part, speed estimation for computer vision. And I will evaluate uh, two inference options, one on the flash drive and one with depth AI on this camera. What's different? Uh, on the camera, you get image from the camera that's directly streaming to Myriad X chip and then the result is streamed to the device. On the flash drive, you take the image from camera, then you send it uh, to your uh, board, then you send it to Mirad X, then you send the result on your board. So uh, these two pipelines give different memory handling and channel widths. And uh, the results are slightly different. Uh, I should uh, warn you that I can't accurately estimate network execution to a time for walk, probably I just don't know how. So I only look at the incoming uh, FPS from this camera uh, and uh, the result will be incorrect when FPS is more than 30 because uh, this uh, camera doesn't allow you to get uh, like 60 or 90 FPS. Uh, but overall the results are very similar and uh, this is more to let you know that both platforms are the same and the result may be just slightly different. Uh, if we talk about the Myriad X compared to other chips, it's weaker. After all, it was one of the first NPU boards 
and it's pretty old. Uh, but don't write it off. Uh, the task uh, continually defines everything, and MirrorEdX can solve a lot of tasks well. So if you have good task for MirrorEdX, when it will work good, and uh, for example, for some task you can just take uh, OAK D with uh, some case around it, uh, just plug and play it in your PC, run already pre-compiled neural network and get your prototype just in a few minutes. Uh, and you don't need to develop anything. So on some task, MirrorEdX are pretty good and the speed is more than enough. The second part of the video. Usually in the second part of the video, I talk about proper development pipelining uh, on the device. And MirrorEdX give you a unique opportunity for rapid prototyping can prototype very quickly with dozens of networks from Intel and hundreds of ready-made networks that you can quickly run on MirrorEdX. Uh, you don't have to develop or port anything. You just build a prototype, evaluate the quality and uh, some effects of this prototype. And if everything uh, is corresponding to your vision, uh, you're proceeding with uh, the targets at development. And uh, starting development is crystal clear. Uh, there are several different guides for different platforms like Windows, Linux, Raspberry Pi, MacOS, and uh, OAK platform, Debs AI, of course. And you just took this guide and it's pretty short guides and uh, everything will work just in 10 minutes uh, and I really don't know what to say in this part more. The third part of the video. It's fair to say that the MirrorEdX is a bit outdated, uh, but it doesn't prevent from being sufficient for many tasks. Uh, speaking of uh, the other minuses, I think that MirrorEdX is a bit overpriced for its performance. Uh, for example, for the price of Myriad, you can buy an entire NPU board like Rockchip board or some cheaper version of Hades board. Uh, and the second minus is the lack uh, of a board, and it's not very nice. Uh, I don't want to use two different components. I want a single platform with processor and NP NPU chips, but with MirrorEdX it's not possible. Uh, but MirrorEdX is most convenient and well throughout board for rapid prototyping. Uh, and I really hope that Intel will update the chip and make the third version uh, that will outperform everything in terms of performance and uh, keeping the current infrastructure with a lot of different converted neural networks. Thank you for watching. Bye.